Hi everybody, Rob Raybon here, and on today's episode we're going to make some nice wheel stands. They're the wooden block stands that you see typically underneath of some restoration projects. I'm building these so I can do the transmission swaps on the 2S197s. I'm going to show you how I did it. These are the finished stands. All you're going to need for this project is 14 2x4s that are 8 foot long. If you want to do the same setup, which these are 15 inches high, which should give you enough clearance to where you can pull a transmission out. You're going to need 14 8 foot 2x4s and make sure you get some nice ones that aren't all bowed up and stuff. And you want to buy 5 pounds of nails or screws. These are 2 and a half inches and I went with screws because screws seem to be a little bit stronger and hold better. The tools you're going to need is a drill with a Phillips tip. I might even want to use a pilot bit, but I'm probably not going to because I want to do this semi-quick. I'm going to get some gloves so that way you don't get splinters every five minutes. I have some sort of cutting thing. I have a sawzall here and a square. You also want a decent tape measure and a pencil. Go ahead and sit your wood down. Take your tape measure. to make all our marks first. These are eight foot boards, so we're going to mark everything out at 16 inches. We should get six boards out of each two by four. You don't have to be super precise with this. You're not gonna be building a space shuttle here. So you don't have to worry about getting everything to the closest 30 second. We're just gonna mark everything at 16 inches and then come back with our square and then follow the line all the way across. It'll be 16, 32, 48, 64, 80, and then 96 will be your last one. And two by fours that are eight foot long, you're gonna be at 96 inches. So you get to save a cut. Next you wanna take your square and just kind of put it on that line and just follow that across, you know, like that and then do that for all your lines. Next, you're gonna take your gloves, put your gloves on, that way you're nice and safe and you don't get a bunch of splinters. And you might wanna wear safety glasses too, but I'm wearing glasses because I'm blind. Yeah, I'll be safe. And start your cutting. Once you cut that, First board, you want to do it, I guess, I don't know, 12 more times, so, yeah, do that, do it again, keep doing it. Now you have a bunch cut up, you can start your drilling, grab your screws, grab your drill. Pilot bit probably would come in handy for a lot of this just because you don't want the wood to split. And some of this stuff's splitting already just from a sawzall, which isn't really the best way to cut wood by the way. You probably want a circular saw. We don't have that so we are using the sawzall. You can see that sometimes it splits and uh, circular saw is probably going to give you a little bit less of that. Since everything's cut at 16 inches. You can just kind of square them up like this. You just want to square these up on their selves. If your cuts are square, everything should be nice and even. Let's start. Again, you want to use your gloves. You really don't want to get splinters, get infected. Let's get your hand chopped off. Then you're not going to be able to touch your wiener. So wear your gloves, boys and girls. Keep this other board towards the back so you can square it up. You can tweak this a little bit once you screw it down, but not much. I'm gonna do two screws per board per side.
one. One at 15 inches tall. And then 16 inches wide. And the tire will sit right in here. So now I'll just do that four times. Here's all my stands. They're 100% complete. They're pretty sturdy. And this should support a vehicle, but like I said, if it falls on you and you die, I cannot be held liable. You can try to sue me. I don't have any money. So, yeah. If you do do this project, though, I wouldn't feel too worried about it. These things seem to be all over the place in everybody's garages, and I've seen all kinds of big ass hot rods on here. And I don't think I've ever seen any like fail blogs about them like caving in or anything, so. They should be pretty sturdy. I'm gonna get back to this project of taking these turbos and just moving them a couple feet over to here. Should be simple, right? I'm gonna use the Fox body to demonstrate that they can support a car. The only real sketchy or scary part about doing this is that you need to get the car a little bit higher than most jacks will go. So you're gonna have to take some blocks, put them on top of your jack and jack up the car. There you go. Pretty sketchy, but it works. I'm gonna have these things pretty much centered in the blocks. This one's a little off center, but and the backs are a little off center too, but whatever, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes and a thumbnail. So it probably won't be up here very long. But there you go, it gives you a lot more clearance. It's enough to where you could get a trans out if you need to get a trans out, which Really like to get a different T5 in this car, but yeah, maybe later.